Hi guys, I'm Chris from Easy's ABXY, a channel where friends teach each other to play video games. This video marks the beginning of a new series and a new game, Faster Than Light from Indie Dev Subset Games. I'm a huge fan of this game, hopefully you guys and Ollie will be too. Enjoy. Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, this is FTL, you probably noticed already. Um, we've switched seats, so Ollie's playing now. I am... Um, I'm teaching. I've played a lot of this game. I'm, I'm not an expert, but I'm much better at it than Ollie. Uh, I've only played it once. Yeah. To be yeah, completely exactly. honest. And I played it for about a minute and a half, so. And we quit. Yeah, and then we quit. Because um, we thought we'd save it for the show. Yeah. yeah. So, so, new game. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, that's fine. I don't care about you so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really that sort of thing. I mean, yeah, see, that's how much I've played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's sort of a, a, a roguelike esque game. So each each run is completely different. It's all procedural. So while it's hard to teach, there are things you can do to give yourself a better chance. You know, knowing what's good and bad. Um, you can do what you like. Yeah, you can rename them as well. I'm if you just like. quickly going to rename them. Yeah. Oh, How nice. do I? Uh, where's my mouse? <laughs> we um. Press enter here. Yep. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to rename this one as well. Oh, he's got your name already. Oh. And then <laughs> name the third member. <laughs> the entire crew is me. Okay, I think we should rename the first member. Uh, third member, sorry. In should we Dr. Dre? Oh, no, Bonnet. In honour okay. of the cat that we've just had to rehome. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so, right, there we go. So, um, right, what, am play... I, what am I looking at? Yeah. This is this is the top-down view of your ship. Yeah. Basically. Um, with... Staff members wherever they need to be. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was just setting up a timer so we don't <laughs> overrun. We're pros. We're yeah, not. we're really, really good. Um, yeah. So it's a top-down view of your ship, basically, with all the systems, all the bits and pieces in there. Uh, yeah. I think you've gone through once before, just quickly, what each one is. But... Yeah, I can try and tell you, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, this is your shield. Yep. Uh, don't know what that one is. Uh, oxygen, weapons, health. Maybe. Basically, yeah, health. Oh, it does actually say. It does actually say up here. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, little... Piloting. I actually thought that was a little man with his arms up the first time I played it. Uh, he has really long arms. Yeah, he's cheering. I guess. And a door system. See, that looks like a pause button. But anyway. It'll work that way. It says up there what, what each one is. Yeah, you've got so. each of them. Um, the only one that's a bit ambiguous is sensors. What does that do? Uh, that shows you what's going on in your ship, and when you upgrade it, it shows you what's going on in the enemy ship as well, which is good when you're trying to target specific... Okay. Bits. Is there ever going to be a point where I've got to fight more than one? No, you only have to fight one ship at once. I see. So I won't worry too much about that. Yeah, you can unlock different layouts and different ships and the like, but we're going to go with the Kestrel. It's the default Is that this one. one. Yeah. Yep, that's the one that you would start with when you first start the game by yourself. Okay. Uh, we'll go with easy for now because I honestly I don't think you're going to make it very far. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed the name my oh, it's, uh, it's tricky. Okay. Um. So just what's the challenge then? Basically, if you start, we'll show you. So start up. Yeah, the general idea is that you're working for the Federation, you're trying to get to the end so that you can warn the people and then win. And they're basically. the government in this game. They're the government in this game. Government the of the good guys, for once. Fighting the rebels. Rare, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so continue. Cool. Go through this. Now, if you open up the jump menu, big orange yellow button <laughs> at the top. Yeah. See that exit beacon? Green exit beacon? Yeah. We're trying to get there. Okay. That'll get you through the end of Sector 1. There's... Eight sectors total. Okay, so it's right. So I'm not doing eight. So we'll, we'll... no, we'll get. We'll try to get to the end of one. The goal overall is to obviously complete all eight sectors. For us right now, we'll try to get just get to there. Just to get to this one. Just get to that one. Right. Cool. So you can jump to whichever one's nearest. You want to jump to whichever one, I guess. So whichever one you've got a line connected to, you can get to. I think I'm going to go for this. Does it matter the distance of the jump? Does that have any effect Not at all? Not overly, no. It has no effect. Um, that's just the ones you can get to from where you are. Right, okay. I think we're going to go to this one here, because then I can go down to this one, and then to that one, and then up to there, and then across to there. Yeah, not too bad. It's like... Four stages. Five jumps. Five jumps. Four stages. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Right. Yeah, just click it. And away we go. go. Now this is a store, which would be more useful if you had more stuff. Okay. Um... So there's not really going to be any fight or anything here. That's good though, because it means I can get further. Yeah, you can have a bit of... Yeah, right, so what shall I... Breath. I've got 30... Scrap. Scrap. You buy stuff with scrap, because money is just doesn't exist in the future. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> in space. <laughs> anyway, imagine how many different currencies there'd be, if you had this many planets. It's probably why they use scrap. 
Yeah. Everyone's got scrap metal lying around. Okay. So... Um, you can buy all sorts of bits. To be honest, you can't really buy much of any worth. That FTL jammer is... You can use it, it's mostly garbage. Okay, a so good why, thing... why would the enemy want to jump? Basically, the enemy tries to catch up with you as you go through the stage. Right. So, for every jump you make, you can get more stuff, more equipment, more scrap, and make your ship better. Okay. But the longer you stay in the same area, the more the enemy will catch up. Right, so it's... I'm on a timer as well then? Basically, yeah, you're on, sort of, but it's all turn-based. Okay. So every jump you take, they take another jump. So if you spend too many jumps in one sector, one area, like you are now, you're going to end up with them on your tail and you've got a whole fleet trying to kill you and it's, it's not fun. It's not fun mm. for anyone involved. Okay, well I won't do that then. No. But I won't buy anything then. So I'll just jump again? Got or... free jump essentially. So yeah, jump again to a sector a little... little but then, stuff. doesn't this... what's this distress one? That means there's definitely something there. So it could be someone who needs help and if you help them you get stuff. Should we do that? Yeah, go ahead. So, but the problem is with my free jump is that obviously now I'm not as good as I could be. Yeah, sort of. Right. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, what's this? Stress beacon? It's a trap. Okay. So, you've fallen for a pirate trap. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Uh, hit space. <laughs> You're going to pause this game a lot. Yeah. It seems counterintuitive, but it helps. And you can do anything. You can make commands and move people around while you're paused. It makes it a bit easier. Um, you want to power up your weapons. So, see on the far bottom left? That's how much spare further left than that? That's how many spare power tokens you have. Oh, okay, so I've got like three units of power. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. And then see on the far right there, your weapons. And in the bar above it. It has three empty. Yep. Yeah. And in the actual bar, long horizontal bar, are yeah. your weapons. And each okay. of those shows how many points they take up. Yeah? Yes. Alright. I'm, I'm with you. You want to power up your weapons and use them to attack the guy basically so yes, click them left click, click to power up right click to power down and then we click on him yeah whichever one you want to fire at right okay we're gonna fire at the shield I'd say yeah shield or weapons are usually a pretty good go-to to start shield to start because then can you can this shield regenerate slowly yeah over time and then space again yeah space to go and then it's a sort of a, a waiting game mm. now this weapon down here, the Artemis, see it? This one, yeah. Every time you fire it, it will use a missile part. Which is up here in the top left. Pause again. There we go. So, quick rundown of what just happened. Yeah. He hit you with his laser. Yes. Which took one shield away. Right. He then hit where's you the with... Where's the... Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. He then hit you with his beam. I saw that, Which yep. did damage to your shield. So your shield, if you look at the bottom there, can't actually power up. Right. Oh dear. Yeah. Good start. You look at the very, very bottom as well. Oh, sorry. See yeah. how it's gone orange? Oh, yeah. It can't power up because it's one unit of damage. Oh, you I see. You have to have at least two in there for one bar of shield. Right. What you want to do is run one of your dudes into that room to fix it. It can be anyone at this point. Um, I'd usually say piloting because if you're in weapons, your weapons will charge up faster. So run your pilot guy in how there. How do I get him to? Just right click. Once you left, well, left click on the guy, then right click on where you want him to go. Yeah? Nice and easy, yeah. Far away. Before you do that, do you want to fire your missile at something? Is it not going to fire anyway? No. Nope. I've already clicked on him. Yeah, but you fired your beam. See how the shield's gone red? Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I should do each one individually. Yeah. So if you fire that one, I'd say at weapons, now that you don't have a shield. Yeah. Not that it matters. Uh, missiles go through shields. That's an important bit. Oh, thanks, yeah. <laughs> it would make it super easy, but they use up points. Whereas yeah, lasers, yeah, yeah. you just use as much as you like. And just you don't unlimited energy. Items. Basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, so ready to go? Ready to go. Let's run through this next bit. Blammo, look at that. Is that already done? Well, you've done enough damage and damaged enough of their systems that they will surrender to you if you want to. So yeah, you I'll take their it. offer. I'll take it. Yeah? Yeah, you know, they made a mistake. Sure. So, I guess... They made a mistake messing with you. Yeah. We're all friends. Are we? Yeah, well, we now are now. We are, I guess. We are yeah. now. Uh, right, so... Can I just wait here for this guy to fix the thing? Yeah, absolutely. If it's, is... is it quicker if there's more than one person in there? Usually, yeah, but it's already done now. So So I guess we can move on. Yeah. Although Unless, is there move... anything I can pick up from this? You've or already you, picked it up. Given it to me? Do you see, if you look at the top, you've got a bit more scrap, which is that one next to the health bar right there. Yeah, yeah. And you've got a bit more fuel, which is that one on the far left, the one that looks like an atom. Oh, yeah. Because it's, you know, atomic fuel. Missiles and drone Robots. parts. Drone parts are a little more 
advanced. Uh, is that like upgrading things or? No, you basically you can get a bay that lets you fire out drones. Some of them will like board the enemy ship. Some of them will repair for you. Some of them will fly around you and fire off missiles and stuff. Right. So you can do that. That's a little more advanced. Okay. You can do it. Okay, that's fine. Right. For now, I'll just do what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I need to move my guy back into the pilot seat and then yeah, I before can... you can take a jump. So run him back there. Run on pause. And just missed the space bar there. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And yeah, just make a jump. What can you tell about this pink smoke? What's this? Basically, that means you're in a nebula. So, usually, that means that you'll have your sensors disrupted. But Which... this fleet, this big red curve on the side, yeah. will slow down. You don't okay. want that to catch you up. Okay, I'm quite far ahead at the moment. Yeah, you're that's been far one ahead, turn. So, so yeah. I mean, what's going to happen if my sensors are disrupted, then? Will I not you'll be able to a... see them? Yeah, well, you'll, you won't be able to see their individual rooms, or potentially your own rooms. Right. So you won't know what damaged or not straight away, or whether there's any fires or something in your ship. So, but it is a quicker way to do it. I say go for it. It's because you want me to lose. Well, a little bit. <laughs> I'll let you go through this. Fight this guy. See how it goes. Okay. So like, okay. Power of FTR drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your. Is that the fleet that's chasing me? It is, yeah. Why do they need to leave this area to warn them? Why don't they just warn them now? They're not very bright. They're also in a nebula, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once they're powered up, they'll remain powered up, so. So they still need to power they'll, up, right? They'll need to charge up, but they've got power in the system. Just, yeah, fire wherever. Now! Nice. Good thing to keep an eye off is these, the weapons that he's got. What, so those two gun, the these gun the, things. No one listening knows what I just pointed out. <laughs> you no, mean these no, things? The gun things, yeah. Yeah. Um, they'll give you a good idea of what they've got. Now I, he's got. Right. Okay. I had no idea. I literally thought they were just fun. Nope. Nope. They actually are the weapons he has on board that will be able to use to fire at you. Yeah. That's all right. We'll go. He's gesturing at the timer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go through this. See how far you get. Right. Okay. Piss yourself. Is that you're that confident I'm going to lose that you just... Yeah, I think you'll do all right. Okay. I'm just a bit... Okay. I'll have my thing get shot. I'm feeling quite confident. Why is he not giving up yet? It's a drone. So there's no one on it? No. Oh, it's I need, to, just, I need ship, to destroy so those. Just have to blow the crap out of it. Okay. Wilco. We'll, we'll uh... Yeah. Notice on your ship how all the rooms that don't have people in are dark. Is that because the what sensors? Nebula does. Yeah, it disrupts yeah. your senses. Get in! Look yes. at that. Very nicely done. Ship breaks apart and you feel a relief in the knowledge. I had to feel relieved. <laughs> right, okay, I guess we'll carry this on in the next Yeah, clip. we'll pause this one here. Do you feel you've learned a few bits? It, it is a bit complex all at one go. No, no, definitely. It's, it's, I'm... I'm glad that I have you as a co-pilot. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little trickier learning just by yourself for sure. But... Cool. Well, it's good. It's good. We will we will carry this on. Yeah, we'll carry it on in the uh, the next, next part, part, and we'll uh, yeah we'll see you then. See you later. Hi guys, Chris here from Easy as ABXY. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. It's incredibly helpful to us. If you want to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button. I recommend it. We've got a few more games on the way. We really enjoyed making them. We hope you'll enjoy watching them. We'll see you soon.